The olive ridley is a species of sea turtles found primarily in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Classified as vulnerable according to the IUCN, the national listings for this species ranges from endangered to threatened. Several projects worldwide seek to preserve the olive ridley population by relocating the eggs to the hatchery and releasing them into the sea. The Student Sea Turtle Conservation Network is one such organization. The process starts with the night walks, where the volunteers look around for eggs on the beaches where these turtles nest. The undamaged eggs are then picked up and relocated to the hatchery at the far end of the Besanagar beach. Once the eggs are ready to hatch, they are taken out of their pits and checked if they are fit to be released into the water. These two guys, you might think that these guys are very different from each other, but the thing is they, are, they belong to the same species, only that his shell has dried up so, uh, sooner because he has come out like way earlier than this guy. Right now, you just filmed this guy coming out. So that's the reason his shell is still moist, because the egg gives him the enough amount, amount of moisture for him to keep his shell moist. So, uh, say it gets a lot more drier when it's full white, he has to definitely go into this uh, ocean to be, uh, wet himself up. The ones that survive are then kept in a basket and taken to the beach. But the journey from their baskets to the water is not an easy one. Their survival is faced with a lot of challenges. The volunteers have to be alert till every turtle has gone into the sea. If they're walking from the nest to the water, there's always so many threats that they face. Now more there's crows, so many crows come and uh, kill them. And there's also dogs, sometimes, ki even kids sometimes just come play with them and things like that. So unless we are there to re monitor the release, there's a lot of problems. Even when we're there, sometimes they could die. In spite of knowing the challenges, the volunteers must ensure safety of the turtles till they are afloat. We need to be really careful when releasing these turtles. We need to uh, release them only after sunset usually because it's very safe for them to go into the sea after sunset uh, because generally there are no sea birds during uh, sunset and the fish generally goes back to sleep. But these hatchlings came out very early uh, in the evening so we had to release them because they need to find food within 24 to 48 hours uh, otherwise uh, they won't survive and also uh, um, other difficulty is that we need to, since it's the hatchling season now, we need to uh, keep checking on the hatchery every four hours for hatchlings. So constantly uh, throughout the day we need someone to monitor the hatchery. With the breeding season finally getting over, we see that the volunteers are working hard to ensure that the turtles reach safely into the water. This is Bhavna Chedwal with camera person Pramanirja, NDTV, India Can Chennai.